we are going to look at a demo of AWS batch. The source code is available on my GitHub repo. So if you go to github.com slash urban solanki slash AWS batch demo, you'll find the Docker file and the script for it. And I will also post the link at the bottom of this video. So basically, to run an AWS batch, you need a Docker container. So we have this Docker file, but first of all, we are going to look at our script. So what the script does, it will populate some data in a table named test table. So this is just a sample script. So you already need to have this test table created. So we'll, we'll create this in this video and it needs to populate or it will populate uh, this will go through this loop and populate data in the test table. So that's our sample batch. Now you want to containerize this batch. So we, are, so we are going to create a Docker file. So this Docker file will be a Python image. And then on top of it, we are going to install Boto3. Then we are going to make a directory slash SRC. And we are going to copy the contents into slash SRC. So contents of the location from which we are going to run this Docker file. And then this is the entry point. So basically we are going to run the script. So let's first create this Docker file or a Docker image. So I'm already inside my local machine i have already docker installed on it so this is the docker file we just looked and this is the script that we looked the python script to load data in dynamodb so what i'm going to do is create an image of so i have this command so basically we are going to build an image with this name and we, I'll just run this command. So now we have a Docker container ready. Now we are going to push this image to my Docker Hub account. So it's pushing our image to my Docker Hub account. And you already need to authenticate your local with your Docker Hub account. So we, we are, let's we are going to log into my Docker Hub and check. So now let's go to our Docker Hub account and see if, if we have the image uploaded or not. So we have this image over here at the end, uh, the AWS batch demo image. So we are going to use this Im image for our AWS batch demo. So now we have our image ready. Now we are going to go to the AWS console. And then we're going to go to batch. So you'll see the screen and I am logged in as an admin user. So we'll click on get started and I'm going to skip the wizard. So first of all, you'll see all this menu items on the left hand side. So first we are going to create a compute environment, then a job queue, then a job definition, and then a job. So we are going to go in reverse order. So we are going to create a compute environment. Basically it's a form of template to tell uh, AWS which kind of instances you want and those kind of things. So it's going to be managed and the name would be for the service role let's just select create new role instance role create new role key pair you can select a key pair if you are going to log into your batch instances in our case we don't really have to but that's fine we'll just select one you don't really have to 
minimum CPU is one, zero and desired one, let's say max four. If you keep minimum more than one or more than zero, then your instance will always be running. But if you keep the minimum as zero, then your instance will get terminated when there's no batch running. Let's have desired of one. So that's what we really actually want, like one virtual CPU. Max four, it would be nice to have a max cap limit so that we don't have a process that keeps creating a lot of CPUs. I'll put it in the default CPU, or uh, default VPC right now for now. And the name would be, so your instance will be created with this tag. And then we'll click on create. Let me just confirm everything is okay. Um, service role is create new role and instance role. The instance role will be assigned to the instance and the service role will be used by AWS batch service to create your EC2 instance, auto scaling groups and all those things. We'll click on create. So now it's getting created. Now let's create a job queue. So basically you create a computer environment and then you create your queues for your job and then you push your jobs to those queues. So let's create a queue. Priority. We'll just give a queue a name and priority. Higher the priority, that queue will be having a higher priority in the processing. And the select compute environment. So we are going to select the environment we just created. So this queue is now attached or associated to that compute environment. So if you want to execute anything on this queue, it will use the compute environment we created earlier. For some processes, you might need more virtual CPU. So you have to create a different compute environment. So this is the queue and now we're going to click on create. So now our queue is created. Now let's create a job definition. The job definition is the actual meat and potato of your job where you actually define your job and which Docker container it should um, use for running the job and what IAM permissions the Docker container will use. So I'm gonna click on create and then click on For the job role, we don't really have a role, so we are going to create a role because we know that our batch is going to access DynamoDB and it's going to put items. So we need a role with put items. So let's create one. So I'm gonna to go to IAM. Click on roles, create role. And the role should be of type ECS. So we have this elastic container service. And then for our use case, we are going to select elastic container service task. Click next permissions. It needs to access DynamoDB. So you just need to have put item permission, but Let's just create or let's just give full access. Not don't do that in production. Click review. Give your role a name. And then click on create role. So now our role is created. Now let's go back to our page, refresh, and now we have this job role. So basically it needs to be of ECS task type container image. Let me see. So you need to use this container image. Now it if you give this name format, it will try to look for this image in Docker Hub. You can also use other repositories like ECR, like Amazon CCR, uh, you can do that. Command, like 
in our case we already have the command that we are going to run which will be like python let me show you so it's python and this file but you can if you don't give this command you can then specify it over here instead of instead of in your docker file you can give the command over here so it will run this command when the container is created virtual cpu okay 2 is fine memory we don't really need much memory to run and let's just click on create job definition so now your job definition is done now let's create an actual job so we're going to submit a job and then we are going to select our job definition our queue it will be a, a single job and not an array job command it's already there you can always you can take this out it shouldn't matter because our container itself has that command or you can keep it there the virtual cpus memory and all and let's submit our job so it's in submitted status then it will go to pending status then runnable starting running and then failed or succeeded so these are the states of a aws batch job so let's refresh let's go to our dashboard so it, it's in runnable state right now so it's preparing your environment and everything so we'll refresh it and come back 